Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Persona 4. I'm some random dude, the fourth, and we're going to go ahead and continue on to where we left off. Last time, we went back into the TB world with Yosuke, and we managed to get our new Naruto-inspired personas, Izanagi and Jiraiya for Mr. Uh, Yosuke. So, we just came back. It turns out that uh, Miss Yukiko is now the manager of the Amagi Inn. And we've already saved. We did the dishes because we're good people and help out Nagato or Nanako. And now we're gonna go ahead. You should go back to your room and watch the TV. Sure. Let's check out the television. We'll see if there's anything interesting. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Right. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Oh, but who do we see? The image is there again. It seems that the conditions are met. You can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. She looks like... Oh, no. Oh, shit. It's Yukiko, isn't it? The image is so out of focus, you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Oh, man. Ooh, we get to see Igor again. This is Welcome. Hello. I don't I miss your deep sexy voice, but we'll we'll go ahead and go with it. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the velvet room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter wow. in your daily life you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power hold on to this obtain the velvet key from this night forth you are our guest in this velvet room See, I like this velvet room. This velvet room is a lot more swankier than Persona 5's velvet room, where it's just a jail. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I don't get it. That is fine for now. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Okay. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card compared to that of others. It is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Ah. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. 
Okay. Yeah, this is a lot like Persona 5, then. The power of these social links is what will determine your Persona's abilities. Okay. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your Persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Okay. So, yeah, it is a lot like Persona 5, then. You got to be friendly with your party members and your support characters, and then their personas will be of help for you. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Okay. So it's foggy in our world, which means yo. it's... Yo. Hey, you didn't crash into anybody today. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Uh, yeah, let's bring it into this. Yeah. I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Yeah, we get to meet Igor. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your Persona first. I feel like... As long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Establish a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. I shall be blessed with the creating the personas of the magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Ah. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links? Is this the bond with Yosuke was what Igor was talking about? You have established a Yosuke Hamanura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knocked down ally during battle. Your ally may be help someone who is knocked down to get back on her feet. Achie, um, about yesterday. We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Oh, I was right, wasn't I? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. 
I think so too. The kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening though, and she said she'd be at school today. I. Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world from Shie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We think so. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good. Her voicemail picked up. She, she's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. No, I think oh, she's gone. Or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. Hmm. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Hey, we thought it was Yukiko, too. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. So in other words, the Midnight Channel's not just what was going on. It's predicting the future. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. That's yeah, true. Still don't know what those penguins have to do with, uh, school, though. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? I tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Yeah, let's wince and wink at the same time. Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I'll be alright. Wow, that looks like it hurt. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Anyone. I'm a lonely little bear like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll give you that. I'll, I'll definitely use that one for next time for bear puns because I got a ton of them. Shut it. Wow, that's so unbearable to hear. So there's no one inside? 
You're sure? Yeah, he can't bear arms either. I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. <sighs> you don't have a nose. I'm going to go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchanged cell numbers at the escape. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Oh, come on. Am I allowed to do anything? Looks like we found all we're going to find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. Dude, why are you carrying your jacket in the rain? We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Ah. Oh. Okay, so it's not the Inca singer. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Right. So it must be the secretary's husband. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. So in other words, it was the councilman's secretary? Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Mm. You shake him down and nothing happens, huh? He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. But can't they use the TV land to Trent the, like teleport themselves around the world so therefore not being there and doesn't necessarily make them not a suspect in this case and we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance you hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead he's been fired from his position as secretary he's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl yeah I agree then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. Huh. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Well, we have no proof of that. <sighs> Either way. All we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Aren't you a detective too? Welcome home! Cool. 
Hey, we get to move around and do stuff. Nothing in the fridge. Wow. This answer is hard. Monica's absorbed in the quiz show. We should leave her alone. It's a quiz show. Let's leave. Or not. Alright, let's go ahead and save. It is 1 o'clock in the morning in my time. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and save and we'll end things up here. So, we learned a lot today about the second murder. And we learned that Teddy can talk through the television. And, at, and Dojima thinks through uh, instinct that the murderer is somewhere in Nineveh. But who could it be? Have we met this person? Or is he just some random guy? We don't know. Find out definitely not next time on Persona 4 Golden. So long, guys. God bless.